I'm attorney Gloria Allred, and I represent Willie Bernard, and Thank you so much. So I'm attorney Gloria Allred. I represent Lily Bernard. And uh, Lily had a principal role in the last season of the Dole Cosby Show. And she will explain more about that. And we did a news conference in New York yesterday, and we are here today. So I'll be making a statement, and then Lily will make a statement, and then I'm happy to answer the questions. I've come to the protest against Bill Cosby in Atlanta today to support those who are protesting Bill Cosby's far from finished concert tour and to deliver a message to Bill Cosby. Mr. Cosby, what you did behind closed doors to women is now viewed in the light of day. You preyed on women and you victimized them. You used your television created fictional sitcom image to gain the trust of women. And then you targeted them and you preyed upon them. You betrayed their trust. You deceived them and you victimized them. You hurt them and your family and your legacy. You will be forever remembered as the sexual predator that you are rather than the lovable father figure, Dr. Huxtable, whom you portrayed. You may escape the justice system, but you have brought shame upon yourself and your legacy. You may never go to an actual prison, but you will forever be known as the man who was accused of drugging and sexually assaulting more women than anyone else in the history of our nation. Women are now empowered and they will never be silent again. Is that right? Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> okay, and so now I'd like to present Billy Bernard. And yeah, if you please explain also that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 My name is Lily Bernard. I'm Cuban born. My family and I immigrated to this country when I was about three years old. I was raised primarily in New Jersey and attended New Jersey public schools from kindergarten through 10th grade and then I graduated from the American school in Japan in high school. I attended Cornell University. I received a Bachelor of Arts from City University of New York and I have a Master's in Fine Arts from Otis College of Art and Design. I'm a wife, a mother of six, a visual artist, an actor, and a community organizer. I played the role of Mrs. Minifield, who was a main character in the last uh, season, in an episode of The Cosby Show, and it came with great suffering. Uh, we have the statements that we made yesterday that tell you a little bit more about that if you'd like copies, and today I'm going to read the statement that I prepared uh, for this demonstration, which is entirely different than the statement I read yesterday. Rapists lie. They frighten and often threaten their victims to silence. They rely upon that silence in order to continue their crimes without accountability. It took me 23 years to shed the fear that resulted from Bill Cosby drugging me, raping me, and threatening me. The process of taking back my power has been long and painful but worthwhile. It has also been educational. I have learned that the devaluation of women and the dismissal of our voices are epidemic. In my healing from the trauma that I endured at the hands of Bill Cosby, I have come to realize that if I were to remain silent to the public, I would be enabling Bill Cosby's criminal lifestyle. I would be enabling his duping of his adoring fans. I would be enabling the re-victimization of the courageous women who have stepped forward and proclaimed that they survived being drugged and sexually assaulted by Bill Cosby. If I were to remain silent to the public, 
I would be enabling the silencing of others who have been raped or will be raped and find themselves paralyzed in fear. I would be enabling the culture of rape a culture which obstructs the arc of the moral universe as it strains to bend towards justice. Martin Luther King Jr. reminds us, however, to not be despaired. He says that we must carve a tunnel of hope through the dark mountain of disappointment. And so I stand here today speaking truth, truth to power, yeah. in order to serve as an example of strength and resilience for my six-year-old daughter and my five sons to encourage all victims of sexual assault, female and male, to release the silence and take back your power. Seek help immediately. Report injustice committed against you. In speaking out, you will find support and peace and you will be renewed. I thank God, my family and friends, my art collectors, Jerry and Tiffany Blackwell, for sponsoring my travel and the detectives in Atlantic City, New Jersey, my progressive home state, for providing a safe and nurturing environment during the more than five hours that they interviewed me yesterday. There are no statute of limitations in the state of New Jersey for rape prosecution. Finally, I want to thank my attorney, Gloria Allred, for her generosity, compassion, and conviction, and all the warrior women, I love you. Woo! Love you, girl. Love you. That's it. <laughs> okay. I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs>